We have an update on the Vince McMahon, Janelle Grant, John Laranitis lawsuit. Here's the latest. John Laranitis supports Vince McMahon's motion in Janelle Grant's lawsuit. John Laranitis' legal team has released a statement in support of Vince McMahon's motion to compel arbitration in Janelle Grant's lawsuit. Vince McMahon's legal team filed a motion on April 23rd requesting that the court recognize an arbitration clause in an NDA grant signed and send the matter to an independent arbitrator rather than it going to litigation. This would mean the proceedings would take place behind closed doors. John Laranitis' lawyer, Edward M. Brennan, released the following statement on behalf of his client on Thursday. John Laranitis has filed a motion today fully joining in and adopting Vince McMahon's motion to compel arbitration. Mr. Laurinaitis corroborates Mr. McMahon in publicly declaring that Mrs. Grant's allegations of sexual abuse and coercion in her complaint are completely unfounded. My client will fight these false allegations together with Mr. McMahon in the proper forum arbitration. McMahon's lawyer, Jessica Rosenberg, released the following statement on Thursday in reaction to the motion filed by John Laurinaitis' legal team, saying, in January 2024, Miss Grant, a 43-year-old with a law degree who was in love with Mr. McMahon and devastated by their breakup, filed an outrageous and false lawsuit to ruin Mr. McMahon's career and reputation. Now her false allegations are slowly unraveling. Today, Mr. Laurinaitis' attorney confirmed his client will corroborate Mr. McMahon's account and expose the lies within the complaint. Despite their intense efforts, Ms. Grant's attorneys won't be able to suppress the truth from coming out. Representatives of John Laranitis had previously stated that their client was a victim of Vince McMahon in this case. We will keep updating you on this ongoing story. Switching gears. The internet rumor mill surrounding the possible sale of Vince McMahon and WWE President Nick Khan's remaining TKO shares continued this week, with talk show host and Raw commentator Pat McAfee even adding some breaking news, as he called it. While talking to Drew McIntyre on Wednesday, Pat McAfee said any rumors about Nick Khan selling his stock were not true, saying, he has never sold a single share of any stock since getting to the WWE, hasn't even put them up for sale, which is an entire process to do that. So that was a bunch of BS as well. However, that isn't entirely accurate. While Nick Khan has yet to sell any shares, he did go through that entire process in posting his current allotment of 234,424 shares back in September 2023, when the WWE-UFC merger happened. Vince McMahon did the same in posting his allotment of shares at the same time. In another SEC filing that came out last Friday, those allotments were again in the same amounts with no charges from September or in April when another filing was released. Some took the listing as a sign that Nick Khan was leaving WWE, but in a March 2024 SEC filing, it stated that he had signed an employment contract amendment that extended his deal through December 2026. As part of that amendment, Nick Khan was awarded 153,676 shares that vest in thirds every December through the end of the deal. Nick Khan and Vince McMahon for that case are under no obligation to sell all or any of their listed shares. It's seen as making the process easier in case there are those interested in them. Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics recapped some of the details within Nick Khan's amended deal in this tweet. And speaking of Drew McIntyre on Pat McAfee, Drew McIntyre spoke about re-signing with WWE. Earlier this week, it was reported that Drew McIntyre recently signed a three-year deal to remain in the company. The news was officially confirmed by The Rock on Saturday, who gifted Drew a Scottish Claymore. During an appearance on the Pat McAfee show on Wednesday, Drew McIntyre spoke about striking a deal to stay in WWE, saying, I wasn't going to go anywhere. If anybody out there was unsure reading those internet rumors or whatever, we were just in a place where I had to get things right for my family. I got with Nick Khan, I got with Triple H, they were so understanding and we got things right for the future. Drew McIntyre was never going to go away from WWE, and it was awesome that The Rock made that announcement. It's the first time he's done that for anyone on our roster. Drew McIntyre is currently dealing with a hyperextended elbow he suffered at WrestleMania. 
He will not be appearing on house shows for the time being, but is expected on WWE television. On a recent edition of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez discussed the length of McIntyre's deal. Meltzer said that he viewed three years as very smart on Drew's part, after Brian Alvarez noted that WWE was trying to sign talent to five-year contracts. And speaking of signing contracts, moving on to our next story, Will Ospreay spoke about his decision to sign with All Elite Wrestling during an appearance on AEW Unrestricted. Osprey mentioned during the podcast that in the lead up to his free agency, he received a call from WWE's AJ Styles, someone who he has long considered a hero. Will Osprey said that AJ Styles was on the phone with him trying to sway him in making a decision on which company he should sign with. Osprey went on to say that this flattered him because he sees AJ Styles as a hero and is everything he has wanted to become. Will Ospreay has frequently spoken about the influence AJ Styles' run in TNA Wrestling had on him. He continued to say that he believes AJ Styles has always kept an eye on him throughout his career. Will Ospreay and AJ Styles have wrestled twice, both in 2015 before AJ left New Japan Pro Wrestling for WWE in January 2016. Up next for Will Ospreay is an international title match against Roderick Strong at AEW Double or Nothing later this month. As for AJ Styles, he will challenge Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship at Backlash this Saturday. And speaking of double or nothing, on top of the match between Will Ospreay and Roderick Strong for the international title, three other matches have been added to the card, including Swerve Strickland defending his AEW World Championship against Christian Cage, Tony Storm defending her AEW Women's Championship against Serena Deeb, and Willow Nightingale defending her TBS Championship against Mercedes Monet in Mercedes' first match on AEW. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.